Two-time former X-Play host Adam Sessler has lost his mind. Again. I know, shocking. Hey everybody, even though I'm going back to my house today, uh, you're still going to be seeing gameplay videos for a bit because uh, in my two-family home on the other side, they have not gone to my side of the house, uh, they all have COVID. But I have to go back home, I have to get back to streaming, and that's where I need to do it. So with all the crazy crap going on with me right now, the best thing you could do is two things. Subscribe and click like. Also in the description, okay, maybe this is more than two things. I'll have links to all of my socials. Follow me there. It's the best thing you could do, and I appreciate the support. Thank you. Skip it a button, that up! Hey everybody, your favorite man with an ass is now on Cameo. You could get your own personalized video message sent directly from me to you. Link to my Cameo below in the description. I look forward to seeing you there. So we know the story with G4 TV. It was on cable in the early 2000s. It was somewhat popular for a while, but times changed. It fizzled out. Everyone moved over to user-generated content because there's a billion different fantastic reviewers on YouTube that did the job better than G4 TV can do. It's just a relic of a different age. But nonetheless, they thought the nostalgia would make G4 TV popular if they rebooted it, and it didn't work. And no, it was not just because of the Frost Grant. The Frost Grant would have been like a fart in the wind if they actually had quality content. Their content was mediocre at best. It was just competent. It was edited fine, but there was nothing that made it stand out from every other reviewer on YouTube. So yeah, it failed and Comcast pulled the plug. G4 TV, the rebooted G4 TV is now officially dead. Well, Adam Sessler... Uh, who is known for saying some very colorful things, like if people piss him off, he feels that it's justified to dox them. I'm not kidding. He said that sitting next to Jim Stephanie Sterling back in the day, went insane again on Twitter. It actually started off fairly normal, but then things went downhill very quickly. We'll start off with the normal tweet, though. Here is Adam. Want to send my best wishes to some of the best and most talented people I've ever worked with. Please hit me up if there's some way I can help. You're all too awesome to not find your way. Big love. Perfectly fine tweet. That's a, I, I, that's if it ended there, that would have been fantastic from Adam. But it it didn't end there. That that it 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 went from zero to a thousand in the wrong direction. Here are some of his other tweets and replies to people. And to those misguided who need to send vitriol, go right ahead. I'll keep taking your hits like I have for over 20 years. I'll still be here just caring about the good people who got jacked. Which, you know, you're poking at the hornet's nest a little bit with that. But if it stopped there, I, I would not be making... <laughs> I would not be making this video. I've said worse things I, uh, on Twitter. Like, I literally just got suspended for, for 12 hours on Twitter. So anyway, let, let's continue. Now Adam Sessler goes downhill and starts quote tweeting and fighting with people. This is a habit of his. Um, and it starts to not make him look good which is me putting it nicely. Someone said to uh, Adam Sessler, your inability to listen to any criticism, no matter how valid for 20 years is staggering. Adam replies with this, your ability to listen to me without any regard for independent thought for 20 years is quite staggering too. Again, he's just being a prick. I do that, but here we go. Wait for it. He brings in the mom jokes. Yes, a soon to be 50 year old man is using mom jokes. So someone wrote to him, he often gets into politics too. Don't worry, I'm not going to get into politics. I'm sh someone wrote to him, I'm sure a washed up middle aged man like you will be back on his feet in no time in this roaring economy created by the Democratic Party. Excited to see your next project. Good luck, sir. And he replies back with, just ask your mom. I'm doing fine. I'm literally, I wish you could see me like in the normal studio setup. I'm face palming right now. You're, you're, dude, you're 49 and bringing up mom jokes. Stop. Like you couldn't have thought any, of anything more clever. It continues though. <laughs> 
Now, of course, you're going to have the plebs and, oh, you got woke and went broke. Someone said to Adam Sessler, he replied with, do you at wits have one writer who only knows one rhyme? Yes, yes, they do. Also, like a real adult, unlike your mom, he said a mom joke again. Oh, my God. I, I, the last time I think I used a mom joke seriously was what, like when I was 11. Okay. Um, he says also like a real adult, unlike your mom, I have multiple incomes go <sighs> a sheep again. You desperate. Another word I can't say. Um, yeah, uh, he, he's, he's going insane here. It, it doesn't end though. Let's continue. Uh, another mom joke here. Someone wrote to him. Oh, wow. So we're embracing stereotype and unironically using ha huh, as an insult for people who disagree with us. Adam, while we're over here being quote unquote adults, maybe we could grow also a thicker skin and not lower ourselves to your mom jokes. Just a thought. And uh, Adam wrote back, your mom's got thick skin. I, I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I, I, I can't with this. I can't with Adam. Adam, what are you doing? It, it, it keeps going though. We're not done. The hits keep coming. And someone justifiably called him out for grown man resorting to your mom claps. This is how grown adults cope, I guess. And then Adam gets political again. And Adam replies with, I mean, I could consider funding a house candidate in your district that cuts off all federal funding. So you have to sell your daughters off to make ends meet while I drive by laughing. Or I could make fun of your mom. He did. He said a mom joke again and said something terrible about a Twitter user's daughters. Adam, what are you doing? Like, I, I guess at this point, he just doesn't care and he just wants everything to burn. And someone wrote to him, and you know people are going to do this. They do this to me too. Someone wrote to Adam, I wonder if Adam Sessler is proud of his role in killing G4 TV within a year of it being brought back. Again, I just think the mediocre content is what killed it and no one cares about G4. But Adam wrote again, wait for it originality here ask your mom she's pretty proud of something oh dear god i <laughs> i just i can't i can't help it um so he continues here here's another tweet from him so i had one hell of a therapy session good you, you need the therapy i adam i'm going to therapy too so i'm not knocking you for it Ran some math and the novelty of when I started on ZDTV, I remember them, in 1998, with a nascent internet, and I think I might have one of the longest records for consistent online hate. Not the most. Nothing to be proud of, but humanity. So, Adam, if you have people, like, dude, I deal with it every day, too. You've been in this business longer than me. You would think you would know how to deal with it better, but uh, apparently not. I don't think Twitter is good for you, dude. I really don't. And then he goes to threats of physical violence. I am not kidding. What's the irony of this? Because if I said something like this, I would be probably banned from Twitter for 12 hours again. But this is okay. This is perfectly fine. Twitter is an interesting place. Uh, someone wrote to Adam, most grown men work out feelings on our own. Oh, God. Well, I, this guy's a clown, too. You were just one of those men that needs a little extra help. Pathetic. How's the job hunt? Oh, yeah, dude, I, I hate people like him. But anyway, continuing on, Adam Cecil replies with this, which is equally as terrible. I have a feeling to bust your ass, but you're in Panama City, which is punishment enough. Truly the most disgusting place I've ever seen. First time I heard the word dark as a code for black people, I thought they had an electricity problem at first. Oh, dear God. Oh, what is that tweet, Adam? Violence and what else is going on there? What are you doing? What are you? Adam, I'm not that much, but younger than you. I know these are all mistakes. You've been in the entertainment business way longer than I have been. What are you doing? Stop. It's time to stop. I I'm just going to keep going because the hits keep coming. Here's another tweet from Adam. Someone deleted their original tweet. You little bitch. All I got is people. I'm ready to turn the cap around my head. Let me know who you are. I actually came up when shit was hard. Plushy. Er, like you just hide and yell. Are you? Are you? saying you want to fight someone else too oh my god he, he's another this one more indirect threat of violence 
And then he he, he kind of throws G4 under a bus and says this, Big shout out tonight to those that run G4 for making my life more miserable than usual when I have barely been working for them in the first place. I, I noticed that you were home and it didn't... It, it seemed like Adam Sessler was metaphorically and literally phoning it in to G4. Like, it was like, hey, dude, we really need you. You're like the only person we could get from the original G4 cast and Kevin Pereira. Uh, could we just, like, film you from a webcam at least? And Adam said, sure. And then he finishes his tweet with this. Uh, in for a penny, in for a pounding, for your bull. Huh. Adam, I know I watched you on David Jaffe's podcast, dude. I don't dislike you. I don't. I do think you need help. Um, I know you went through a lot of issues with your wife with health issues, and I don't wish that on anybody. I genuinely do feel bad for you, and I wish nothing but happiness and health for both you and your wife. But this behavior is not okay. Um, and you probably, I know you're going to therapy. Uh, you talked about medications that you're on, again, on David Jaffe's podcast. But I really think, I genuinely think, Trust me, I know the best thing for you to do is log off Twitter. I mean, right there, you could get in trouble with some of the stuff you said, dude. You did threaten physical violence against somebody. And if you're in a bad headspace, Twitter is not the place to be, Adam. It's a cesspool. I I'm sure what happened with G4 stressed you out too. I'm sure that people are being relentless, which is even more of a reason to stay away from Twitter, at least for now. Because these are not things that a stable man says, and you need to relax and make sure you take care of yourself first before going and fighting with people on a social media platform. This is Rich at Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one.